at the end of the day the purpose is still to put French in your head and to develop it as a skill. What are the different tools for the different people? Let's think about this. Could we make up 20 different tools? Oh, I teach French this way, me this way, me this way. They're not that many tools when you think of it. Not that many, because let, let's be honest, it's uh, okay, listen to a podcast and tell me what you've remembered. Um, you, you're still going back to what I do, by the way, is if you compare it to a stream, you in teaching, there's a stream, let's call it the language that you're learning. The stream is the language, okay? You, can you visualize a stream? There are different places you can go on that stream. You can go upstream or downstream. Now, typically, listening to a podcast and telling your teacher what it was about and what you remembered and the interesting words you picked up, you're downstream. You're, you're downstream, you're here. This is the more advanced part of French. Now, if you go all the way upstream, this is what we teach. We teach the foundational parts of French that hold the rest together. I'll explain this in another way. I once had a lady, a French lady, who had to do a job interview in English and she worked in the field of security and she wanted to do a spoken lesson with me about that involved all the terms that might come up in security so it was like safety helmet, alarm, uh, wire, buzzer, all these very precise um, secu hard hats, uh, safety boots and whatnot and, and I'm thinking by the way and the lady didn't speak English in a very very low 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 level and I was thinking but this could not work you, you're trying to speak downstream you don't know what goes up, what is upstream what you really need is to understand the present tense you need to understand how English is pronounced and these are the foundations if you have no foundations you're not gonna comment on what's on the roof if you have no foundations it, it doesn't work so there are different places you can go on that stream what I like to do is go upstream because I know that if I give you the foundations, how the language holds together, you'll be able to go downstream. Even if you don't know the word, you'll be able to relate to what you've, how it holds together within the language.